In this video, we'll look at using undo in Pro Tools. Pro Tools permits up to 32 levels of undo. You can set the number of levels of undo by going to the Pro Tools Preferences, going to the Editing tab, and entering the desired number of levels of undo at the bottom of the window. You can access undo by going to the Edit menu and choosing Undo, or by pressing Command-Z on the Mac or Control-Z on Windows. You can access the Redo command by going to the Edit menu and choosing Redo, or by pressing Command-Shift-Z on the Mac or Control-Shift-Z on Windows. You can view the Undo History by going to the Window menu and choosing Undo History. Here you can perform multiple simultaneous undos by clicking any item in the list. You can also click any of the italicized items in the list to perform multiple simultaneous redos. From the Undo History's pop-up menu, you can choose Undo All, Redo All, or Clear the Undo Queue. Another useful command in Pro Tools is Restore Last Selection. If you've made a selection, and then accidentally lost the selection by clicking somewhere else in the session, you can restore the last selection by going to the Edit menu and choosing Restore Last Selection, or by pressing Command Option Z on the Mac or Control Alt Z on Windows. If you need to undo changes that are no longer available in the Undo History, you may want to use the Revert to Save command. You can access Revert to Save by going to the File menu and choosing Revert to Saved. Then a dialog box will appear asking you to confirm that you want to revert to the last saved copy of your session.